Hey guys, welcome back to Life in the Vast Lane. Welcome back to yet another house update video. We are so excited that you landed on this channel today. If you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, so you won't miss another update video from us. If you did not check out our last house update video, um, we did lots of things. We did um, painting, we did the basement floor, we did some, uh, um, removing of wallpaper in our laundry room if you haven't watched that video be sure to click the link in our description box I'll link that down below so you can get all caught up because in this video I have so much to share we have so much to share and we are so excited that we are getting closer and closer to selling this house not everything we're gonna share in this video but the major things we just want to bring you guys along with us to show you what all we had to do to prepare what all we had to repair to get our house sale ready also in our last house update video we had just a few minor setbacks uh, we had to replace two kitchen appliances which were the um, refrigerator and the stove we both went out kind of at the same time so that was like included in our house update video but we plan on leaving the appliances here when we sell coming up we have done so much in like two months we did a lot we were just dumping 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 y'all we are ready to get out of here we are ready for our next journey coming up we're going to show you how we redid the upstairs bathroom um the stairway we had to replace the uh, paper the wallpaper it was just a lot of this is an older home so it was a lot of wallpaper we also put trim up in our living room that looks very nice and modern along with the um paint uh, we also put some carpet down on our basement steps. We did the downstairs bathroom and we also did the garage. Oh, last thing we did was there was a hole at the top of the steps in our basement and um, yeah, we need to fix that. So you guys will be able to see all of this being done. Um, obviously it's gonna take like two seconds for you to see the before and after, but it seemed like quite a long time to us we had one guy working on our house he works really fast but you know when you want things done you know it's it's like okay we want this done our house was just dusty y'all know how it is if you've ever uh remodeled your home renovated but it was just dusty and it was just stuff everywhere you guys are seeing the videos so if you want to see how everything went just be sure to keep watching first up we have the bathroom um there's a bathroom upstairs that had not been working for a while well it worked but the tub when you ran the water it leaked down to the basement and that's how there was that hole um at the top of the stairs in the basement okay mm -hmm. would that would that present an issue with the plumbing que si eso puede causar problema con con el sistema no 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 okay as you can see um, he took down the tub there was a bunch of yellow tile in there he re drywalled the whole bathroom uh, the sink and the toilet was just fine but it was just the plumbing and we needed to um, you know get fixed and then we needed to get a whole new tub one thing that I really liked about this contractor was that um, he had had a lot of good ideas for us while he was working on our house so um, one thing was um, he switched the bathroom door so I don't know if I showed it or not but um, the bathroom door um, opened up to the sink in the bathroom and when you open up the door it covered the sink in the bathroom and he was like do you want me to switch it so he switched the door to the other side which was very helpful the door is now on the side of the wall that nothing is on that was just such a good idea also um carlos had an idea to switch the plumbing um from the left side of the tub to the right side of the tub um because yeah it was just like i said it was leaking and we just switched it over so there's actually a crawl space in the baby's room he was able to get to the plumbing set up new plumbing just looks so much better um i didn't get it before but um i got the part where he demoed the bathroom and then what the new changes were so we also got a new light in the bathroom 
I wanted to keep the decorations to a minimum. I didn't want to do too much decorating um, because um, a few homeowners that um, I've talked to in the past, they advise that when you're trying to sell the home and you're taking like your pictures, just be sure to uh, depersonalize um, your home as much as possible so the buyer can get a better visual of what they want to do with the home. If you guys have any tips for selling the house or what we should do or what we shouldn't do if we're doing too much please feel free to leave them in the comments below and next up we have the drywall in our stairway the wallpaper that was on these walls was so ugly and i was just so happy to finally um get rid of it um it just wasn't it um obviously we want something more modern and the paint that we picked i think was just absolutely perfect as you can see the ceiling is very high on the stairs so it's very 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 hard for um me to get to paint at the top of the um stairs um even with a ladder i was so scared carlos is like no i'm not getting on the stairs the ladder i'm sorry there's still an area on the top of the stairs that i did not paint because getting on that ladder and those tall ceilings, mm -mm, I couldn't do it. It was just so scary. Those ceilings are really, really, really high. I don't know how tall they are, but just know they're really, really high. Even going to the top of a, I don't know. I'll, if I find the measurements of how tall the ceiling is on the stairs, then I'll insert it somewhere. But um, Carlos does not like getting on ladders. I don't mind getting on ladders, but I've never had to go that high on a ladder. So it was kind of scary. So we will have the guy come back out and repaint the stairway for us um, because yeah, the ceilings are too high. I felt like I was about to fall uh-uh no so um as you can see it is incomplete but that will be done in the next few weeks this was also a time where i was like kind of annoyed because of the amount of dust that was getting in our rooms i tried to put towels um at the uh, cracks of the doors all of the doors and that basically did not work it was like the dust was coming through the vents it was into our rooms it was just too much. I'm so glad that portion is over with him uh, re-drywalling every part of the upstairs. Next up, we have the downstairs bathroom. The only thing we needed to do with the downstairs bathroom was to repaint, um, including the ceiling, and replace the shower. Hey guys, this is the downstairs bathroom. I did not show the before, but over here was a shower around the corner. Um, well, basically you came in here, this was a wall and then over here was the shower and you went to the shower from over there. So, yep, he just came and demoed this. They're about to go get the shower. The tub was half of this. So it was just this on this side. And then, like I said, you came in through here and you just got in a tub it was like a small little tub really small but now we're just going to get one full tub to put of course sh straight against the wall yeah he had to tear down literally all of that i don't know how it's going to look once he puts the drywall in but yeah anyways we're getting it done Um, as you can see, I went a little light on the decor. One thing I wish we would have gotten on the uh, shower doors to the downstairs bathroom uh, was the frosted windows or the frosted doors. I did find a video on YouTube about how to uh, frost the doors to your uh, shower, but uh, I'm not doing all that. <laughs> it's fine for now. I wanted to make sure the paint was very neutral. Like the gray that we picked is such a modern color. Um, you can almost match anything with it. All of the wood paneling and the wood work that you see throughout the house, throughout the living room, um, I wanted to paint white, but 
y'all i'm i'm up to here with painting like we are up to here with painting so we were just like we're just gonna forget it and carlos said he did like the wood look me personally i like everything to be white i like my trim and everything to be white um but you know we decided that we're not gonna change it if whomever wants to purchase this home wants to uh paint the trim and the woodwork white then we're just gonna leave it up to them next up we have the basement ceiling and steps so when we completed the floor um, we had intentions on putting the same flooring on the steps but we changed our minds and we figured we'll just put carpet on the basement steps it just looked a little bit better to us so we did go with carpet on the steps we also had our contractor redo the ceiling of the stairs to the basement. We do have to come back and paint over it with the white ceiling paint. We'll do that probably in the next few weekends. Last weekend, uh, we touched up all of the, um, um, what do you call it? <laughs> I can't think of it. You know, the trim around the door, the doorways, the um, window seals, everything that's white, we went and touched it up. Next up, we have the second half of the living room. In the last update video, um, I painted one half of the um, living room um, after we replaced the blinds in there because it's something about new blinds. I didn't realize it's something about having new blinds just makes the room i don't know it just makes it look so much better it's all about blinds paint i don't know it just makes it look so much better so after we got new blinds in the last house update video um i did go through and i think it was wait a minute i think it was after but anyways yeah around that time um i went through and painted the same paint that we that you've been seeing in our upstairs bathroom um the stairway upstairs and the downstairs bathroom the living room i've been using all of the same paint just so it can just be all that's that's just my style i just want everything i don't like different color rooms that's just me i want one color very modern and um for it to be able to just blend with everything so um yes like i stated the last house update video i painted half of the living room we still needed the trim so um you're gonna see that we are going to get the trim for the entire living room also um the side where the tv is um, in our living room, we had to replace that whole wall. It was just so much. Oh my gosh, we didn't have our, you'll see, you'll see. Next, he's gonna do this wall. It's, I don't know what's behind it, but this, this is where our TV was. And I'm of course gonna paint it the same color. And then he's gonna get the trim. Say hey, babe. Hey, babe. He always does that. And he's gonna put drywall. T Stinky, where's she at? Zuri, get your get your butt down here, babe. She was all the way up the steps. last but not least we have the garage oh my gosh we weren't gonna do the garage but you know as you're doing stuff to your home it's like more and more stuff it just keeps coming up like oh you need to fix this you need to fix that you need to fix this okay this doesn't look you need to repaint this so and we're still dealing with that there are some things that we did not plan on doing at all that we're still having to think about doing um, I'm so thankful for our contractor. He's such a sweet guy who works fast. The garage was definitely not in our plans or in our budget, but um, our contractor, he gave us a really nice deal. So we said, hey, why not? And he went ahead and recited the um, garage for us. He also put in new windows. Okay, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. That is all we have. Hopefully the next update video will be of us actually selling the house and moving and let you know where we're going. Stay tuned for that. I'm ready for something new. I'm ready for something different. I'm ready to move out of the state. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, 
before I end the video, we were gonna redo the kitchen, but um, I think we've done enough. So um, we decided to not do the kitchen, even though that's probably one of the biggest selling points when you're selling the home, but everything else being updated, we think is just fine. We do have a few more things to do. Um, there's a deck at our back door, so we might um, redo the deck and we um, also might redo our master bedroom but um, we probably won't film that because it's really not that much but just know the next house update video will be of us moving and where we have transitioned to so stay tuned for that thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video bye guys